This video on head-to-toe assessment was designed for practical nursing students. Utilize the head-to-toe assessment checklist while watching the video. To provide patient-centered care, keep in mind that if the patient is not able to take many deep breaths while assessing breath sounds, stop and continue assessing breath sounds later in the assessment. Likewise, if the patient is unable to tolerate lying flat while assessing bowel sounds, continue with the assessment with the head of the bed elevated. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate head-to-toe physical assessment for practical nursing students so that you can be efficient and accurate when doing your physical in the clinical setting. Hello, my name is Ginger and I'm here to do a physical assessment on you today to see how you're doing. Can you give me your name and date of birth? Jane Smith, May 16, 1984. Great, very good, thank you. At this time, I would get a set of vital signs, temperature, pulse, respiration, blood pressure, and an oxygen saturation. While I'm doing so, I'm assessing the level of consciousness. Is the patient alert, drowsy, or lethargic? Because I already asked the patient's name, I don't need to re-ask that to assess for orientation. Can you tell me what year it is? 2019. Can you tell me where you are? Chambersburg Hospital. And why are you here? I came in because I had a headache. You had a headache, okay. Do you have your headache now? Yes. Okay, can you describe it? It's a dull pain on the right side of my head. All right, and when did this dull pain start? This morning, about two hours ago. About two hours ago. Can you tell me what makes your headache worse? It gets worse when I'm stressed. All right. Have you figured out what makes it better? It gets better when I'm lying down. Okay. All right. Do you need to be lying flat, or is it just a matter of lying down and resting? Just that I'm resting. Just when you're resting. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the most difficult, what would you say your number is for your pain today? About a 4. About a 4. All right. Is that acceptable for you? Yeah. Okay. Is it okay if we continue with the assessment then? Yes. All right. I'm going to elevate your bed so that I can reach you better. Do you have any sores on your head? No. You said you had a headache. Do you have any pain anywhere else? No, just my head. I'm going to look inside your ears and check behind your ears for any sores. Okay. At this time, I'm going to assess the eyes for Perla. In doing so, I'm going to dim the lights so that I can assess that accurately. But for the sake of the video, we're just going to leave the lights up. But at this time, I would dim the lights. Can you look at my nose? I'm going to assess your eyes. I'm going to put a light in your eye. But just continue to look at my nose. All right, thank you. Can you look at my pen? And then just continue looking at my pen while I bring it away from your face. Okay. And one more time. Thank you. I'm just going to look up your nose. Do you wear glasses? No. Can you open your mouth? And can you stick out your tongue? Okay. Are you able to swallow a pen? Yes. Okay. Just going to check your throat. I'm going to have you turn your head and face that wall. At this time, I'm going to be assessing for JVD, jugular vein distension. The carotid artery will be pulsating in the middle of the side of the neck. And the jugular vein lies right beside that, and I'm looking for distension of that vein. At this time, I want to check your chest, listen to your heart and lungs. Is it okay if I lift your gown? Yes. Let me check your skin. I'm just going to pinch you a little bit. to listen to your heart for a minute.
going to seem like a long time, but I'm going to just uh, listen and count, okay? Do you have any dizziness this morning? No. Do you have any sensation of your heart jumping out of your chest? No. Do you have any numbness or tingling anywhere? No. Okay. So I'm just going to listen for a minute. to your lungs, so I'm going to elevate the head of your bed. Are you feeling short of breath this morning? No. no. Good. Are you having any coughing this morning? No. I'm going to listen several places on your chest, in the front, on the sides, and then later I'll listen on the back. I want you to take slow, deep breaths in and out. I'm gonna listen, or lift your gown, okay? Okay. Take a deep breath. Again. Now I'm going to listen on your sides. And give me a nice deep breath. the bed down so I can listen to your abdomen. I'm going to listen to your bowel sounds now. Can you tell me when you had your last bowel movement? Yesterday. Can you describe it? Brown and formed. Are you having any heartburn? No. No. Any nausea? Feeling sick in your stomach? No. I'm just going to take a look first. Do you have any tenderness as I'm pressing? No. no. Anywhere? No. No? Alright. Now I'm going to ask you some questions about your urination to go to the bathroom. Are you able to go in the toilet? Yes. yes. Alright. Do you need any help going to the bathroom? No. As far as walking? No. Okay. Alright. Are you able to hold it until you get to the toilet? Yes. Do you have any burning when you go to the bathroom? No. no. Do you feel like you're going more frequently than you normally do? No. no. Do you have any problems starting your stream? No. And do you have any itching in that area? No. No. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to check your arms and your legs. I'm going to start with your arms first. Checking your skin tone. Check your 
other arm. Check your pulses. I'm going to press on your fingers. If the patient is wearing fingernail polish and you can't see the blanching through the nail, then you can press on the end of the finger and watch for the coloration to return. Can you squeeze my fingers? Can you put your hands against my hands and push? Push hard, push hard. Okay. I'm going to wrap my hands around your wrist and I want you to pull up toward your face. Very good. Nice. Thank you. And now I'm going to move to your legs. I'm going to bring the blanket down. Coming up here. You are, you have an amputation below your knee. Just gonna check your stump. Do you have any discomfort to your stump? No. Okay. Your incision is healing very nicely. Check this leg. Skin temperature. Feel your fetal pulse. Good. I'm going to feel your popliteal pulse on this. Thing. Again, if the toenails are too thick and you can't see through the nail, just press against the end of the, uh, the end of the toes. Can you press against my hand? Good. And can you point your toes to your nose? Okay. Pushing against my hand. Very nice. Can you lift your leg? And can you press down against the bed? Toward the bed. Thank you. Can you lift your leg? And can you press your leg toward the bed? Very good. going to assess the back side of your body. So I'm going to have you turn toward this side rail. Do you have any problems with soreness on your bottom? No. That's good. You can roll back now. Listen to your lungs now on the back side. So I'm going to elevate the head of your bed again. Okay, Jane, while you're leaning forward, I want to listen to your lungs on your back. Take another deep breath for me. Again. 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 Again, 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 and one last time. All right, Jane, I'm finished. Thank you. Here's your call light. If you need me, just give me a call. Is there anything I can do for you before I leave? No. Are you sure I have the time? No.